we are going to talk about the theme of our template. The template, it's a full structure of a presentation that includes colors, shapes, text. The theme of our presentation is more specifically the combination of colors and texts, but even more of colors. When working with a presentation and going to style, if we choose the option colors, remember that this icon or thumbnail will randomly choose a color for you. We don't want that. We want to be in control. So we click on this small icon with three dots that will open this right column where we can choose predefined options on colors or themes, different color palettes that you can choose to try your hand on. However, what we want is to define the colors based on our idea, our process, and usually we use our brand guideline. Even we are a small or a big company, there is some pre-definition of the kind of colors and fonts that you use when representing your brand. If you work for a larger company, it's most probably that you can contact the marketing team and ask them for a copy of the brand book or the visual identity book or the corporate identity book. In any case, for short, brand book, get a copy or have someone to tell you the colors that you use in your brand. So this is our template palette, which is the default color palette for this template. If we click on this small pencil icon, we get to work directly with different colors associated with this template, the theme of colors for this template. And we have different options to get to that. One is we can modify the colors by using the hex codification or RGB. You can also choose colors and you can play with this wheel of colors as well or choose colors from some predefined options. You can also make direct changes to your color palette by specifying the RGB or X values for uh, your color. We can also use our logo to try and have Prezi guessing the best colors for the theme for our presentation. To do that, we are going to create a palette from our logo and I will choose my logo and upload the logo and based on my logo automatically Prezi choose the closest possible colors that have some harmony. Let's see how our logo actually looks. So the approximation is good. One of the colors is one of the colors of our color palette but the logo is not visible here. So let's try a different approximation. Let's go to colors, go to our template palette, edit, and use a color picker. For the first color, I am going to pick the color directly from the logo. You have to make sure that the wheel of color in the color picker is the same as the one that you are targeting. Now let's choose our secondary color. Let's use the picker and use this color. And our third color. Now probably this is not what we want. What we do is when we choose which colors to use for a given presentation, especially when it comes to our brand, we have three primary colors and two secondary colors that are sent to a secondary palette. On the other hand, I will like to work with a white background. And we have the pink, which is our brand pink for the topics. And the subtopics is this orange. The yellow and the green are less important and we will get to that 
later. For now, remember, we need to save the palette. I'm using the, the name of my company. You use yours or your projects or your clients and save. In this way, we will have our color palette here, Teach Me Plexi. And we can use it in any other presentation that we create. And we will use it when we actually start creating a presentation after the template lessons. For now, let me recap this for you. Style, colors. You can pick a color palette, any color palette, or you can modify the template palette by using your logo or your brand book colors or any color palette you can create with other resources. In the written article for this lesson, you will find a few resources for creating color palettes and other design elements.